Mostar in Bosnia-Herzegovina. In the Swiss lot house, team members prepare for today. All of them have committed themselves on a voluntary basis to serve in this six-month mission. First station, weekly meeting with the Mufti, an important date as in reality the town is still ethnically divided. Ten kilometers outside Mostar, close to Yeliste, a place like out of another world, the scars of war are still omnipresent. It's impressive to see how people on the one hand who live in the old town seem to be happy, and then this here, abandoned places, houses destroyed by the war. Well, it moves me. Change of location. Trebinja in the Republic Serbska, close to the Croat border. Swiss lot teams are stationed here as well. The lot teams are considered to be the early warning system for U4. They are close enough to the population to feel its mood. We leave Trebinja behind us and drive into the country. Here too, destroyed and abandoned houses bear witness to the past, and a table in the garden serves as an office where the Swiss team obtains valuable information through direct talks with inhabitants. It's sometimes difficult to absorb all the information during the talk. Therefore, it's a good idea to have a partner with whom you can recollect what was said after the meeting and where the important can be sifted from what's unimportant. The collected information is compiled for U4 in daily reports. Krupa, an ammunition depot on the outskirts of Sarajevo. As part of U4's capacity building mission, the Swiss armed forces have been involved in weapons and ammunition stockpile management with a mobile training team, MTT, since the spring of 2011. Lot and MTT the quiet engagement of the Swiss Armed Forces on behalf of U4 in Bosnia-Herzegovina.